What actually happened is this. The boy stayed home, had another fight with his father, stabbed him to death, and left the house at 10 minutes after 12. He even remembered to wipe the knife clean of fingerprints. Now, are you trying to tell me that this knife really fell through a hole in the boy's pocket, someone picked it up off the street, went to the boy's house, and stabbed his father with it just to test its sharpness? No, I'm just saying it's possible the boy lost his knife, and that somebody else stabbed his father with a similar knife. It's just possible. Take a look at this knife. It's a very unusual knife. I've never seen one like it. Neither had the storekeeper who sold it to the boy. Aren't you asking us to accept a pretty incredible coincidence? I'm just saying a coincidence is possible. And I say it's not possible. Where did that come from? Oh, it's the same you knife. Quiet, quiet. You're quiet. Where did you get it? I went out walking for a couple of hours last night. I walked through the boys' neighborhood. I bought that in a little pawn shop just two blocks from the boys' house. It cost six dollars. It's against the law to buy ourselves such a That's right, I broke the law. Listen, you pulled a real bright trick. Now, suppose you tell me what it proved. Maybe there are ten knives like that, so what? Maybe there are. Well, what does it mean? You found another knife like it. What's that, the discovery of the age or something? You mean you're asking us to believe that somebody else did the stabbing with exactly the same kind of knife? The odds are a million to one. It's possible. But not very probable. Okay, fellas, let's take our seats. No point standing around all over the place. Didn't see that one coming. Oh. <laughs>